thank you for watching this video. I'm here in the studio waiting for my cake smash clients, uh, which, you know, explains the cake here in the background. Uh, I did a maternity shoot this morning. It is October, it's supposed to be autumn. It's super hot today. Uh, I just got back from a maternity session outside. It was so beautiful, sunny midday. When you find some high trees, you can still take lovely photos, just playing with the sun in the background, you know, sparkling through the trees. So don't be afraid to take photos midday when the sun is shining, because it's possible. Oh yeah, I used the Beast, so the 105 Sigma Art lens. Very heavy, very cool lens. And I photographed uh, Aperture 2, pretty much, 2.0, 2.2. Um, so yeah, beautiful depth of field. But anyway, I'm in the studio today, I'm going to unbox a review and show a new backdrop I got. It's actually a floor mat and it has like a wood structure, should have because I haven't opened it yet but I did pick it out online. Um, it's from shopbackdrop.com. I'm showing you the website in the screen and the actual backdrop that I picked and the dimensions as well. Um, it got shipped within a week, uh, 0.5 kilogram, it's this package. Uh, normally I get my backdrops, like the vinyl ones, they're rolled up. This one is obviously folded up. So I'm really curious to see if it has wrinkles and if you can get them out and how thick the floor mat is. I've never used a floor mat before. I have my real wooden backdrop right here. I have like other setups here, a backdrop. There I have like some wooden panels in the back and then a Flocati in the front, and then my newborn. Right next to the newborn area, I have the green wood that I painted, but not everybody likes green, and sometimes it's very easy to just pick up the baby from the beanbag, place him right next to them in a bowl. You can just turn on the turn around the heater. You don't really have to go to the other side of the studio, so I thought it would be nice to get a floor mat in like a whitewashed look, so I can just use it right next to my beanbag as just a floor drop. So yeah. Um, my cake smash shoot is supposed to start in like five minutes. So once again, if I get interrupted unboxing this, wow, they used a lot of tape. It's gonna be quite a challenge to open this with my bare hands, so I'm gonna get the scissors. Uh, if I get interrupted, you know why, and then I will continue probably after the shoot. Okay, here we go. I thought when you buy like a floor drop, floor mat, it was actually quite expensive, that it's usually like thick plasticky material. Um, this looks more like fabric. This is what it looks like now. So in the plastic, as you can obviously hear. Um, oh no, it is, it's not fabric. It's like a rubbery bottom. It almost looks like this stuff that you can get your wetsuit from when you go surfing and it's water is really cold and you wear like a wetsuit. That's what it feels like. So here you got like a rubbery material. It's like anti-slippery in the bottom. And then here is the top. And it's actually quite heavy and thick. Um, so yeah, it does feel like a floor mat. When I first opened it, it felt like fabric, but it's, it's actually quite nice. Uh, I'll get a bit different uh, angle from the camera so I can throw it on the floor. So here we go. I'm just gonna throw it on the floor, straight out of the package. Um, it's not wrinkled. Here we go. So this is the floor mat. It's very good that it's matte, so it doesn't show a glance, or like it's not shimmering when you use splash. Uh, it's not wrinkly at all. You can just fold it up. Apparently you just take it with you, no wrinkles. So you can even go on like location and photograph a newborn. And then you have this as a floor backdrop. Um, it does have a bluish tint to it, kind of like a light purple tone. I thought it would be more like creamy white. Of course you can correct it in Photoshop, but um, it does look bluish. But I like the quality, very smooth. I really like it. So yeah, you can just place like a bowl on top of it and then photograph from the top. And then it looks really cute.
Okay, so the cake's messed up. I'm hungry. He was so focused eating the cake. <laughs> well, hello. Today it is... Um, good question. What day is it? It's Friday today. So um, I'm in the studio for first a newborn session and then a cake smith session. And I'm going to test the rubber floor mat with the wood design. Um, so I have it here right next to me on the floor. I'm going to set it up ready. Uh, there's a little girl coming in and the parents like blue, gray and mint green for colors. Because the floor drop, like the rubber floor mat, has like a bluish, purplish tone to it. I think it matches really well. So it's not the creamy white floor that I would like as far as like whitewashed, distressed wood. Uh, but I think it's still gonna be pretty. I'm really curious to see what it looks like in the photo, so we're gonna find out. For now, I'm just gonna have the floor right next to my bean bag. It doesn't have to be perfect yet, because I'm probably gonna move it by the time we get to use it. But it just needs to be out of the way now. Um, so, but I'm just gonna prep it already a little bit, so the parents kind of know what it looks like. So I'm gonna place some burlap here on the floor, just to create like an extra layer. Then my wooden bowl with the knit blanket. I might, the baby's probably wrapped as well. And then I'll place some little posing pillows underneath her head, maybe even underneath her legs to pose her well. You can see that it hardly wrinkles. Like, I just think I had it pulled the double, I open it, no wrinkles. So, I like that. It's my wetsuit material. Anyway, for now, we're going to start on the bean bag, so I'm just going to place my soft box right here. So it's actually on top of the floor mat, but the parents can already see it. And then maybe by the time we use it, I only have to like change my light to here, and then I can take a photo. So I can leave the floor mat maybe even same spot. Who knows? Now I'm just going to have my light somewhere here to start on the bean bag, and then later we're going to go to the floor mat. Um, Everything's ready here. See, so yeah, I hope I can show you today. Um... position and give you my opinion okay so I just set up for a cake smith session hence the cake but I'm gonna give my verdict about the floor mat um, I think the material is amazing so it's I can only compare it to like wetsuit material so like the suits that you wear when you go like serving um, that kind of material it's thick it's rubbery and non-slippery in the bottom and there's like fabric on top and the awesome thing is, is that there's no glare. I use flash, like I use studio lights. So sometimes when you use, I don't know, like vinyl floorboards or like laminate floorboards, you can get a glare because there's like um, 
I don't know, like a protective layer on top of it, like a topping, which is just giving off a glare. With this floor mat, I didn't have any glare. Okay, so I just opened one of the photos I took of the newborn this morning on my MacBook, and it looks amazing. I don't have to edit the floor at all. It looks kind of real. Um, no glare, no nothing, no wrinkles. I think it's great to take with you as well. So when you're a newborn photographer traveling to clients' homes, you can just roll it up, you can fold it up, it gets like this tiny package. You just throw it on the floor and you take a photo. Um, and it's amazing because it's so tiny, it's super lightweight, no wrinkles, no glares, no nothing. I pretty much think there are no disadvantages to using this product. The only thing that I maybe didn't pick out right was the design, the color, because I thought it would be like a distressed, creamy, white, fake wooden backdrop. Uh, it's more like a gray wash um, print. So it kind of has this bluish, grayish, purplish glare on it um, instead of like a creamy white. So, but that's just the print, the design. So I probably just picked the wrong design off the website. Maybe I didn't look properly. They had about six, seven, eight different ones. I just, I think that was the only one that was like white wood because i have dark wood here in the studio which is real wood i didn't want to pick like a dark wood one because i already used that one during the newborn session as well um, i have the green wood which is real which i also use in the studio so i thought it would be fun to have like you know like a distressed whitewashed wood as a backdrop uh, but yeah then i didn't realize it kind of had this grayish bluish tone to it but besides that, it's an amazing backdrop. The material, the print, the quality, it's amazing. Um, yeah, definitely when you're in a studio, you don't have that much space and you just want to throw down a backdrop, use it, fold it up, store it away and pick another one. It's amazing. If you travel to clients, their home, it's amazing because you don't have to like put actual wood in your car and then go like three high in an apartment without an elevator, you know, sticking your bean bag and your wood and everything, your camera bag, um, running up and down the stairs with all your gear. You just fold it up into this tiny small package. You can take several ones with you and I think it's really pretty. So I think it's an awesome product, super cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of pricey, but you can use it for a long period of time. Not suitable for cake smashes, I would say, because it doesn't have this protective film layer on it. So you cannot wipe it clean with wet, white, wet, wet wipes um, because it ha it's like fabric on the top so it does stain so you don't want to put cake on it. Uh, also yeah I photograph my newborns with diapers on sometimes of course they can spit up a little bit of milk but it's not going to end up on the floor if they're in like a bowl and wrapped and everything. Um, if you photograph newborns without a diaper and they have like a poo explosion going on and it goes onto the floor mat I'm not quite sure if you can wipe it off and clean it really well um, but yeah just use a diaper with a diaper cover cute little outfit wrap no problem footage because I'll probably just put it in here as well just to lighten up the video because I know you guys like watching little babies stick their head in a cake. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. 
Um, I'll put the link to the website in the description where I got the floor mat from. I think it ships internationally. So uh, let me know if you use floor mats as well, if you like them, if you don't like them. Um, and then hopefully I will see you in the comments and you will see me in my next video. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day or lovely evening depending on where you are. And uh, well, bye bye.